I wanted to chat for a couple of minutes about IBT, about uh, the initial basic training for motorbikes in Ireland and my experience and uh, a bit of advice I picked up uh, while I was doing it. So IBT as the name suggests is your basic training that you have to do on the bike before you can go out on your own. Uh, obviously you can't be accompanied all the time while you're a learner on a bike so they uh, give you two full days of training uh, and by give you I mean make you pay for <laughs> so I covered the sort of costs in the driver's license uh, video but uh, I'll talk about what the IBT is like and what it involves and all that sort of stuff and if you're nervous about it um, hopefully having it explained by somebody who did it recently uh, will help you out a bit your first step in doing your IBT is finding a good instructor. Now, a lot of it is still word of mouth, which is kind of annoying. Um, a lot of the time, if you ask on the forum, you know, there's a couple of main guys when you're in the Dublin area that come well recommended, but otherwise, you're dealing with the classic uh, here's a name and a mobile number, ring it, which pervades uh, biking. You know, like, how do I get my. Uh, bike serviced. Oh, here's the name of the mobile number, sure he'll do it. Um, so, do a bit of research online, have a, have an ask around, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm in the Calare area and I went to the Leinster Driving Campus, which are fairly well put together. They have a good web page and they have a good uh, off-road off course, which I, I saw going past a good few times, so I got lucky, I think. But uh, yeah, do your research and stuff. I haven't really heard horror stories. I mean, all the guys are certified and stuff like that, but it's down to the advice and quality of the training that they're gonna give you. The only sort of dodgy thing I ever heard about an IBT instructor is people who advise you to do progressive access, like you're in your 30s or 40s, and they say, oh yeah, do the A2 first and then do progressive access, which I think is you know bullshit advice for a start and also it's just it makes them more money but uh aside from that technically they're all much of a much but you know try and find a good lad so as for the training itself um the way i approached it was as a bit of crack like it's not technically i think you can you know not get the certificate but uh, from talking to the instructors, it's stuff like you want to be crashing the bike, and, and a couple of times before they'll before they'll say, "Listen, uh, maybe it isn't for you," or that sort of thing, because there really isn't, isn't practice you can do for it. Um, so the way it's structured is it's over two days. You don't have to do the two days at the same time. Uh, I know I did the first day with another chap who wasn't doing his second day for a few months even. Um, the first day and the first half of the first day will be sort of theory in a classroom or in a porta cabin, as in my case, um, where they run you through some of the stuff around road positioning and all that sort of thing and road craft and etc. And that's a lot of what you learn. You know, it's there's obviously there's practical on the bike, but the rest of it is theory around you know when to do shoulder checks and when to do lifesavers and all that sort of thing. Uh, and I found it very useful just, you know, to, for, for, for my own thing. I find it kind of terrifying that people don't get that, or people used to not get it. So the second half of the first day will be uh, out on a closed course. So be it the school zone closed course, or a car park, or any sort of um, setup that they have. And really what the closed course is about is... Um, well, first of all, learning the controls of the bike. The IBT is designed for somebody who's never even sat up on a bike before. Um, so they'll run you through the controls and how it works and how the clutch works and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, going for going in a straight line for a few meters is your first thing and everything up to doing figure eights and stuff like that. And it really is, uh, as the saying goes, like riding a bike. You know, people sort of look at people at the end of the first day of the IBT and they sort of say, well, I couldn't do that. You know, it's, it's they're sort of doing mad things with cones and stopping and starting and all this sort of stuff. But it really is, if you uh, have any aptitude for it whatsoever, if you ride a cycling bike or if you 
drive on the road and they're used to the bite point of a clutch or something like that it's uh, it's um, easy enough to pick up I love overtaking you um, so the second day sorry so the second day of the IBT is mainly up on the bike to be a bit of, ref of a refresher of some of the stuff and a bit of um, closed course stuff but if you're good to go then uh, you'll go actually go out on the road on the bike with the instructor now the setups may vary but in my case the instructor was on a radio um, with you and he was just riding there behind you and it's um, can be a bit daunting let's put it that way it really is if you put in the practice on the first day and you're um, able to do that the way I um, thought about it is it's a bit of crack you know it's like <laughs> at, the, at the very worst you can think of it as you know you're paying for a couple of days up on a motorbike having a bit of crack learning the new skill and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but for 99% of people it does work out and there's really nothing to be nervous about or apprehensive about you know you can be apprehensive all you like and actually I can't tell you not to be nervous about things but um, coming from somebody who's a bit of a nervous Nelly in general um, I, I found it I found it great to just get up on the bike for a couple of days I think it actually helped me you know to have gotten some formal training and to have um, I think if, if I was under the previous licensing regime where it's basically okay now you buy a bike and you bring it out on the road and you give it a go <laughs> I, I actually probably would have been less likely to do that so um, that's the short intro to the IBT and what it's what it's like and how it is um, I'm just approaching work zone lots of lads in suits in big cars so I'll leave it at that uh, have a good one if you're in uh, Ireland enjoy the weather hopefully it'll last the rest of the week and uh, I'll talk to you next time